ABC 7 News at 6, on the road live from elsewhere. Presented by Tony Murray's Fairway Auto Sales and Napa Coastal Auto Parts. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for ABC 7 News at 6, live on the road. I'm Peter Dubois. And I'm Beth Jones. We are here in beautiful downtown Ellsworth. Bit of a breezy night, but definitely clear. Great yes. to be here and plenty to talk about. There is a ton going on here in Ellsworth. We have, of course, the Autumn Gold Festival, yep. lots of other community events, and we're right here next to the Grand the Grand Theater. Plenty to talk about there as well. All of that coming up a bit later in the show. Absolutely. But in the meantime, some other local news to get to. First tonight, an Uber driver accused of sexually assaulting an intoxicated rider has had his bond set at $15,000 cash. 26-year-old Joseph Graston is charged with gross sexual assault and unlawful sexual contact. The incident reportedly happened on June 10th when a woman ordered an Uber after leaving Half Acre Nightclub. The unnamed rider reportedly noticed hickeys on her neck and suffered back pain the following morning. Charges were filed against Graston after a sexual assault kit was performed at St. Joe's Hospital. Mr. Graston did agree to a DNA swab and upon testing, it was uh, discovered that there were at least three loci belonging to Mr. Graston uh, on the victim's cervix, neck, and genital area. Graston is expected back in court on December 20th. Meanwhile, a LaGrange man has been arrested for attempted murder. 36-year-old Patrick Lloyd had an outstanding warrant from Webster, Massachusetts for attempted murder stemming from a domestic violence incident. According to Sergeant Jason McCambly of the Bangor Police Department, officers stopped Lloyd on Cumberland Street in Bangor. After searching his vehicle, officers discovered a stolen handgun in a hidden compartment. Lloyd, who has a previous, who has a previous felony conviction, was charged with receiving stolen property and possession of a firearm by a prohibited person. Pending extradition, he will be sent to Massachusetts. One year ago today, Hancock County Deputy Luke Gross was killed in the line of duty when he was hit by a truck on Route 3 in Trenton. It happened in the early morning hours while he was investigating a reported crash. More than 50 people, including his family, gathered at the scene this morning to honor him and say a prayer. Hancock County Sheriff Scott Kane says Gross volunteered in the community and he especially loved working with children. One thing that sticks out about him is how much he cared about kids. Uh, he was a dare officer, he worked in the schools, and I've said it before, he was a kid himself. Uh, you know, he was a kid wrapped up in a, in a big guy's body, and uh, he thought the world of kids, and that was his calling. The Hancock County Sheriff's Department has created a memorial to honor their fallen officers. Sheriff Kane says they want to recognize the people who have given their lives to public service in Hancock County. He says it was inspired by Luke Gross. Well, students and teachers at Millbridge Elementary School wore red today to show their solidarity with local lobster men and women. Our Matthew Jarodzik caught up with a woman who had the idea to do it. I'm here at Millbridge Elementary School where the children behind me are wearing red to support their local lobster men and lobster women. Students across the state of Maine wore red to show support for their local lobstermen and women who face unprecedented challenges and new regulations in a recent red listing by Monterey Bay Aquarium. Teacher and organizer Allison Wallace was overcome with how many students participated in the initiative. I am very touched by the, by the gesture that everybody has done. This hits home for me. This is part of my family. This is our heritage and I want to protect it as much as all of the people that have worn red today. Wallace said the idea was a way to give back to the local lobstermen and women. Last Monday or Tuesday night, I was sitting down uh, working at my desk at home, and I decided to email Mrs. Lissy, our principal here at Millbridge Elementary, and ask if our kids could wear red on a day of the week um, so that we could support our lobster fishermen and the lobster women of our community because they've been so gracious to support our school over the years. Once brought up, Millbridge Elementary Principal Carol Ann Lisi reached out to several districts in the area asking if they would participate. The idea was then brought up by a parent to the town before being shared on social media. While lobsterman Charles Kelly was thankful for the local support, he was blown away by the nationwide support. 
it's a good feeling to see the support. Uh, what has surprised me is some of the outside support that we're, we're, we're getting. Uh, we had a family from Wisconsin uh, send us $100 and said, just use this to further your, your uh, cause as much as you can for the, for the fishermen. Sixth grade student Macy Brenton wore red to honor her family. It feels like really good to be supporting the lobster fisherman because my father's a lobster fisherman. I just want to show that support to him. Wallace says she's doing this not for the current lobster men and women, but for those in the future. Uh, for me, it, it's all about, like my shirt says, that I want to save lobster fishing for a future generation. I want to save it for my son, for the students that I teach, for them to have an opportunity to be out there. Matthew Jaroncic, ABC7 and Fox. Outside here in Ellsworth, it certainly feels like the perfect day to kick off the annual Autumn Gold Festival. Yes, this, the weather certainly feels seasonally appropriate, mm -hmm. and with a little bit more of what we can expect, let's take a first look at our forecast. Thank you, Beth and Peter. It's the weekend. Our first weather today is brought to you by Goose River Farm Meat Store. Temperatures, though, are showing the first weekend of fall. We're well below our average, only a high of 57 earlier in Bangor. Same thing closer to the coast, 50s across the state. But take a look at this blue in the northern part of the state. Those are 40s, yes, 40s and 50s as high temperatures today. So well below our average, but winds are another issue. Not only is it chilly, but it's also windy. We have wind gusts across the state even coming close to 30 miles per hour, a 21 mile per hour wind gust in Bangor. So winds are a bit on the breezy and we do also have some warnings and advisories. We have a high wind warning in effect until 8 p.m. on Saturday. Same thing with wind advisories just away from the coast. Same thing. 5 p.m. on Saturday. So really be careful. Hurricane Fiona will be well offshore, but still something to keep an eye on. Tonight for us, though, we will become windy with temperatures continuing to cool off into the mid 40s. Beth and Peter. All right, thanks so much. And a lot more about what's ha actually happening here in Ellsworth as ABC 7 News at 6 on the Road continues. Indeed. Stay with us. We'll be right back. On the Road, broadcasting the news at 6, live from Ellsworth, is sponsored by Coastal Auto Parts, your local Napa Auto Parts dealer with 29 locations, owned and operated by a main family that cares. Tony Murray's Fairway Auto Sales, come by your vehicle the fairway. It's not only a slogan, it's the way we do business. And Bucksport Regional Health Center has what your family needs for good health, medical, dental, behavior health, and more. Hey, 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 wake up. This car's not going to fix itself. Your car may not be a race car, but you can sure treat it like one. You can find Gear Wrench, the tools trusted by the Napa Racing Team at any of our 29 locations. And while you're here, sign up for the Napa Rewards. You'll save more each time you shop. Coastal Auto Parts is owned and operated by a main family that cares. Napa know-how, Napa know-how. Offensive and divisive. That's Paul LePage's legacy. But it's not just what he said as governor. It's what he did. LePage slashed funding for cancer screenings for women. He refused to invest in clean energy, kicked over a 1,000 seniors off their prescription drug program, and even opposed funding to Meals on Wheels. So if that's what Paul LePage did last time he was governor, we can't send him back. The top funder of a better name is the Democratic Governors Association. A Cadillac is more than a statement. It's a celebration of self-expression and a declaration of your independence. So choose to be bold and choose to be exactly who you are. Get 2.99% APR for 60 months plus 500 purchase allowance on the 2022 Cadillac XT4, XT5, and XT6. Visit Port Cadillac in Bangor. Here's your chance to win a VIP trip to Times Square and $1 million live on national television. Enter Maine Lottery's first Millionaire of the Year promotion today, and you and a guest could win an exciting trip to New York City and appear on Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve. 
don't miss your chance to become the next Powerball First Millionaire of the Year. The countdown is on. There's a million reasons to play. So get your Powerball ticket and enter for a chance to win. You're watching ABC7 Bangor. Welcome back, everyone. Well, many of Ellsworth's businesses are showing support for one of Maine's largest industries. Our Devin Dagnold has that story. Every year, the city of Ellsworth holds Autumn Gold Weekend. The weekend is a chance to promote many of the businesses in the city and to remind everyone to buy local. Autumn Gold kicks off with a themed decoration contest for all the businesses to participate in. This year's theme was nautical, and many of the contest participants saw it as an opportunity to show support for their local fishermen. After Maine Lobster was red-listed by the Monterey Bay Aquarium Seafood Watch, many Ellsworth locals began to worry about how that would affect the seacoast fishing community. In conjunction with Autumn Gold, many of the business owners began to show support by decorating their businesses with buoys, lobster traps, and fishermen. Businesses like Eyes PA, where Lori Tracy says many of the patients she works with are fishermen. We do have a lot of patients that are lobstermen, um, so that kind of hits home with us too, because um, if they're doing well, we're doing well. Eyes PA finished in the top three in the Autumn Gold storefront display category. Kyle McKim, vice president and regional manager at First National Bank, which was the winner of the storefront display category, says that him and his team at First National put so much work into their display because they want to show how much they care. You know, I just think that uh, the important part is that everybody in our fishing community knows that their community, their bank, you know, all their friends and family are behind them and um, here for them as they sort of navigate this, the uh, uncharted waters they're in, I guess. Barbara Corshain, owner of Bud Connection, won the window display category and says it was inspired by her family that has a long line of fishermen. We're at least a five, six, maybe six generation family of lobstermen. My dad, his son, his son, and his son, my son, um, are all lobster fishermen. So I, you know, really just wanted to support the fact that we are a lobster family. We are from this area. Like, hundreds of other families, thousands of families that fish up and down the coast. It's really important to continue to keep the awareness out there of what's actually happening. In Ellsworth, I'm Devin Dagnall, reporting for ABC7 and Fox 22. Back in everyone, thanks for being with us right now. And I'm joined by Gretchen Wilson. She's the executive director of the Ellsworth Area Chamber of Commerce to talk everything Autumn Gold Festival yes. this weekend. So thank you for joining oh, us. Oh, absolutely. Thank you for coming to town as you always do to yes. kick off our weekend. I'm so happy to be here in beautiful downtown Ellsworth. And uh, tell me about some of the highlights of the Autumn Gold Festival happening all weekend long here. Well, we have our big events, which is, of course, the uh, 38th annual car show up at Home Depot. And yes, we are having it tomorrow, even with the wind. We're, we're taking precautions. Mm -hmm. um, and then we've got a um, Harborside Food Fest, which we actually have moved to wow. the middle school. And then there is stuff all over town. Everything from a road race to train rides, children's activities, shopping, um, a big go for the gold raffle all over town. Wow. And just, there's so much going on. So really fun for the entire family, it sounds like. It is. You mentioned those gusty winds, though. Uh, it seems like they're playing a factor this weekend. How yeah. is the weather uh, maybe making a couple changes? Yes. The we usually have uh, boat rides on the Union River provided by ca local captains, and that is something that we absolutely cannot do. And then we moved our um, food festival, which is, had music, and we've got a chef doing a lobster mm. stew demo and a ton of food vendors up to the middle school just because you just you know the waterfront is going to be the breeziest yes. so um and we're co-located at the ellsworth middle school with the ellsworth rotary pancake breakfast so we kind of feel like well that was a good mix yeah. and um you know other than that no changes and right. stuff all over town. So really just a couple location changes, minor adjustments, but still it's the uh, yeah. the wonderful Autumn Gold Festival that people are used to and looking forward to and lots to come down and enjoy this weekend. So thank you so much for telling Absolutely. us all about it. All right, well, much more to come, including your full five-day forecast and sports coming up next. Stay with us.
on the road. Broadcasting the news at 6, live from Ellsworth, is sponsored by Complete Tire Service Incorporated, providing automotive repairs and tire sales to customers from Ellsworth, Bar Harbor, Blue Hill, and surrounding areas. Shirley's Yarns, Crafts, and Gifts. What can we help you create today? And Disconnected Tattoo and Piercing Shop. We are a family-friendly tattoo and art shop in Ellsworth. We started Fairway Auto Sales because it was a dream of mine to have my own place. I had worked for dealerships for over 20 years. My wife, Nicole, encouraged me to go out on my own. At Fairway, you're going to get an honest transaction from start to finish. When you come to Fairway Auto Sales, you should expect to be greeted by the owners. We'll take you out on the lot. We're going to look at each vehicle and see which one fits you and your family. We like to say, come buy your vehicle the Fairway. It's more than just a tagline. It's the way we do business. I was just telling these guys about Jerry Golden. He's a Marine who puts country ahead of politics. And then there's Bruce Poliquin. He's a multi-millionaire Wall Street banker who went to Washington, took all that money from the insurance industry, and voted to let them increase premiums. Worse, Poliquin said he wants to raise the retirement age. He's for them, not us. House Majority PAC is responsible for the content of this advertising. Do you have leaky pipes? Are you planning a plumbing job? Is your heating system working right? Are you designing a plumbing project? Then contact Harley's Plumbing and Heating Plus. If your toilet will not flush, Harley will be there in a rush. Furnace bit the dust today. Harley crew is on the way. Harley Plumbing. Harley Heating. 990-2200. Call now. Harley! Call or visit online. Leona May's Antique and Gift Shop is now open in Newport. Our unique building is a converted 1800 single family home that we've given a new life to. A home for treasures, from antiques, collectibles, unique gifts, and so much more. Come make the rounds throughout the many rooms on all three floors as you wander back in time or find a unique gift that's perfect for that special someone or that hard to buy for a relative. So come visit us today. Leona May's Antique and Gift Shop, 147 Main Street, Newport. Put a little more cash in your bank. Save money with half-off deals at foxbangor.com. Welcome back in. Thank you for staying with us. Thursday was the big news dump, right? Ime Odoka not going to be on the sidelines with the Celtics for the upcoming season. Boston announced his one-year suspension for violations of team policy just after 9 p.m. In their statement, Ime Boston Udoka, said that a decision about Udoka's future would be made at a later date. On Friday, we heard from both Brad Stevens and Celtics majority owner Wick Grosbeck, who said that the suspension came for multiple violations of policies, and it was determined by a months-long investigation by an external law firm. Multiple sources have reported it stems from an inappropriate relationship with a woman in the organization. And Friday, Brad Stevens got a little emotional talking about the situation. We have a lot of talented um, women in our organization, and I thought yesterday was really hard on them. And I think that... Um, you know, nobody can control Twitter speculation and rampant bull****, but um, I do think that we, as an organization, um, have a responsibility to make sure we're there to support them now, because um, a lot of people were dragged unfairly into that. A lot more details that we haven't heard from. Let's head up to Orono now. Main field hockey opening up America East play this weekend. It all began Friday hosting New Hampshire. Black Bears have won three straight, and they are looking to stay hot as the Wildcats come into town. Maine up one to nothing in the second. On the penalty corner, Poppy Lambert is going to take the shot, but great defense from New Hampshire to deny the Black Bears. But all that would do was set up this corner. Lambert takes it again, and this time it's an excellent save from Gemma Woods to keep Maine off the board. But right before the half, same thing. Penalty corner, same thing, Poppy Lambert. But this time, Sid Meter is there to deflect it through, and Maine would tack on three more in the second half and go on to win their fourth straight. 5-1 to one is the final. 
Staying up in Orono now, Maine women's hockey season will officially begin this weekend. Puck drops tonight, even though Molly Engstrom just got to Orono at the beginning of the month. But that is past us. Recently, the university just announced who will be with Engstrom on the bench. Rounding out the coaching staff is Kirsty Hussey and Jen Richardson. Hussey most recently served as the head girls hockey coach for Northfield Mount Hermon School. Prior to that, she was on the staff at Brown University. She began her collegiate player... Uh, collegiate playing career here in Maine at Bowdoin before transferring to Dartmouth. As for Richardson, she spent the last six years coaching high school and prep levels in Boston. She played in college at BC, served as co-captain of that hockey team, and competed internationally as a member of the USA women's ice hockey team. You know, we played at this, around the same time. Kiersey played at Dartmouth and uh, Jen played at BC. So, you know, we're on the same page in terms of, I think we really understand each other. We communicate well. Um, I knew I was going to need a lot of support coming in and, and people who understood where I was coming from. So that background, I think, really helps. Puck drops for the season, like we said, at the Alphon tonight. They're hosting Quinnipiac. As for us tonight, we have a big night of high school football. Planning on bringing you a ton of games. Personally, I'll be getting my first look at Skowhegan at 7 p.m. at Cameron Stadium, taking on Bangor. And then I'll head across the river to Doyle Field for a Class B matchup between Brewer and Lawrence. Lawrence, a couple good wins on the season. Brewer looking to put one in the win column for the first time since week one. Old Town and Nokomis are at it as we speak, and we will have much, much more for you tonight. That is all the time we have for sports, though. Here is Conrad Sapinski with your full five-day forecast. Thank you so much, Tyler. Our main weather today is brought to you by Varney Ford. Varney Ford in Newport gives one full year maintenance on every new and used vehicle they sell. Come visit them and see their huge selection of cars and trucks. The nice car and truck people. All right, so first Friday of fall. Yesterday was the first official day of fall. Today is Friday. It's almost the weekend. We do have some clouds in the area, though. Most of the precipitation is offshore, so we are in the clear for now. But cloud cover is sticking around because of this right over here. Hurricane Fiona brewing off the coast right now. Still a major category for hurricane right now. It will continue to move up the shore well away from us. So expect lots of cloud cover the next couple of days. This radar is showing some rain showers in the eastern part of the state. We might get some small passing scattered showers throughout the weekend. Really only on the eastern part of the state. But in general, most of that rain will be well offshore. Take a look at this graphic. This one shows several inches of rain off the coast, even close to five inches of rain from Hurricane Fiona. And then in our state, pretty much nothing, just a trace or two closer to Machias. So not looking too bad. But like I said, Hurricane Fiona, major category for hurricane, 130 mile per hour winds, still very dangerous hurricane right now. And it will continue to move north. It's actually moving very, very fast at around 35 miles an hour. So that is a good thing for us. So we'll not be stalling like some of these other hurricanes. But as it continues to work its way up north, it really weakens into a post-tropical system. Waters will be a little bit cooler. So that's going to really help that hurricane weaken. But for us by the coast, expect some rip currents, some bigger waves, and definitely some gusty winds. Our waters are well above average, indicated here in the orange and the red right here. Warmer waters, well above average temperatures. So that's going to be that fuel for the hurricane. But as it continues to move up north, it will continue to weaken. Winds right now are a bit on the breezy and 21 mile per hour sustained winds in Bangor. 14 in Bar Harbor, Greenville, same thing, 20 miles per hour. So we really have some breezy wind outside right now. But take a look at tomorrow. By the afternoon hours tomorrow, we'll have one gust close to 40, even 50 miles per hour. So get ready, really hold your hats tight because it will be very, very windy. And because of that, we have some high wind warnings in effect until 8 p.m. on Saturday and some wind advisories also by the coast. We have some gale warnings tonight. Chilly one temperatures in the mid 40s, mostly cloudy and windy. That wind will continue to pick up overnight as our extended forecast outlook shows that windy conditions sticking around for Saturday into Sunday. Then we stay clear by Monday. More chances of showers and then more chances of showers sticking around by Tuesday and Wednesday.
Beth and Peter. All right, well, thanks so much. And there is more to come after the break. That's right. Stay with us. On the Road, broadcasting the news at 6, live from elsewhere, is sponsored by Dragonfire Pizza, voted one of the best places to eat in Ellsworth. Momo's Cheesecakes, we have more than 60 cheesecake flavors to choose from, and now offering fudge. Stop in today. And Patriot Homes can tackle all your building projects, from modular homes to garages. However you spend your day, spend it in style. At Label Shopper, you'll find designer brands for 30 to 70% less than department stores. With prices this low, you can grab all your favorite styles. Label Shopper, great clothes, great prices. When it looks the part, but isn't the real thing, that's Fool's Golden. Jared Golden promised he'd be an independent fighter against Biden's spending, but then cast a deciding vote for Biden's newest spending bill that experts say will hike taxes a billion dollars on those making under 50,000. Golden may think we're fools, but his recent vote shows Mainers what he's really made of. Congressional Leadership Fund is responsible for the content of this advertising. Spin to the California coast. Yes. Head to the sea and hang ten or ten thousand dollars. It could get exciting around here. Ah! I'm sorry. Do our hot vacation prizes cause brain freeze? Need a letter. Oh, sorry. Plus, what's your involvement with Beyonce? <laughs> Antonio's got a tale to tell. This week on Wheel. Weekdays at seven on ABC Seven. Tonight, as former President Trump faces new legal challenges, the Mar-a-Lago probe resumes. Was national security put at risk? More Americans turn to World News Tonight with David Muir, the most watched newscast on all of television. Welcome back, everyone. A local food pantry has partnered with the Grand Auditorium in Ellsworth to get local families the essentials they need. In addition to their building campaign, Loaves and Fishes is collecting enough donations to fill the 400 seats in the Grand Auditorium in Ellsworth with food and monetary donations. Any donations are welcome, but for 25 bucks or an equivalent food donation, donors can fill a seat. Andy Matthews, who's the president of Board of, of the Board of Loaves and Fishes says that food insecurity has risen in the area and donations are needed now more than ever. The need for, for food in this community is, is at the highest level it's been, at least in my experience here. Um, we are seeing record numbers of families coming to the pantry. So everything that's collected today will go toward um, food uh, and personal items to be distributed to our families. And Matthew says even if you can't donate today, it's never too late to help. Monetary donations can be made anytime on the Loaves and Fishes website. You can go to loavesandfishesellsworth.org. Alrighty, and back out here live. Speaking of things going on at the Grand, we're here with Nick Turner, Executive Director of the Grand. I am, believe it or not. Indeed. And, you know, the Loaves and Fishes event was here today. That's Hopefully that's going to be a rousing success. But there is a there, lot more yes. going on as well. There is. There's tons yeah. going on, and it sounds like they met their goals. And we, we are really launching our season with Autumn Gold in many ways. We had the Manhattan Short Film Festival last night. Mm -hmm. But coming up next weekend is Raw Dolls Willy Wonka. Which is the wonderful movie musical we remember? Thank you. With uh, with um, Gene Wilder. Yes. All our favorite songs like Pure Imagination yeah. and I Found a Golden Ticket. All those great songs. Right. And we go on into the next month when we have Terror Trail. 
Okay. The name is what it sounds like, from what I understand. It is quite the experience. It is. It's our haunted experience. We started it last year up at Woodlawn Museum. They host us on the trail. And we're coming back again this year bigger and better and more scarier. More and more scarier. Without giving too much away, live actors... So many volunteers. We yes. need, in fact, we need volunteers. Yes. So the premise is you are heading up in a van yep. to Lost Pines Wilderness Survival Camp. That sounds like a recipe for success. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's family night. Right. You get on the van, and then things go wrong. Oh, well, terribly with a little wrong. bit more on how things go terribly wrong and how you can help, <laughs> go to the Grand's website. Yes, grandonline.org, please. All righty. Well, thanks so much for joining us. My that pleasure. sounds like a heap of fun. And that is all from us here in Ellsworth tonight. Good night, everybody. Good night. Did I go? ABC 7 News at 6 on the